Hello and welcome back to Debbie's Crazy Painting Experiments. Today I'm going to try something completely new again. Sometimes, you know, it's like I lie in bed at night and I think, what if I added, and I like three random products? What if I put these three together? What would happen? So today I'm going to try something completely new using all new products. So we'll see. The paints I'm going to use, I've got um, this kind of. Oh, let's get that distraction out of the way. This kind of coffee coloured palette. Let's have a look. They're all apple barrel. I've got this one, which is an antique parchment, which is a kind of cream. Then this one, light mocha, a very light kind of cappuccino colour. And then this one, chocolate bar. So it's delicious. And I'm going to match it with um, just a, a metallic gold that I've already got left over from a previous project. And I thought that, you know, it kind of goes nicely together. I've got some light, I've got some dark, some mid-tones and a bit of metallic. So we'll see. I like to just put the colors together first and see what I think is going to happen. And it's certainly very subtle. So, you know, maybe it'll turn out boring, maybe it'll just turn out elegant and classy. But either way, I'm going to have fun doing it. And the reason why I'm going to have a lot of fun is not only am I using these um, apple barrel paints, and that's the first time for me using these ones, but I'm also going to use this. This is the Sargent Art Acrylic Gloss Varnish, but it does say that you can use it as a medium or a varnish. So I thought I'm practicing, um, I'm actually experimenting on some tiles, doing um, a video about varnishing them. So I, this is what I bought it for, to use it as a, a varnish example for tiles. But it says, mix with acrylic paints to increase, increase gloss ease paint flow and increase transparency. So I thought I would give this a try as a pouring medium. And instead of any kind of silicones or anything like that today, I'm going to add this 99% alcohol to my paints and we'll see what happens. So I've basically got things already mixed up. The gold was ready mixed. So this actually is a gold metallic paint and it's mixed with a little bit of Floetrol and water and then I added in some alcohol um, but I think I did that before I went to lunch. I think I lost you for a minute there. My camera turned off on its own again. I don't think it likes the heat. I think that's what it is. In my painting space here uh, it's extremely hot. I don't have any air conditioning and I live in the Caribbean and it's now the summer and wow it's hot. Anyway we were looking at my gold you, I don't know if you will be able to see, well I can just put that over to the light, but adding the alcohol to the gold already creates some really nice um, interesting shapes in there. I'm also just going to add a few spots into the other colours. Not a whole lot because um, what I do find is when I use these little craft paints they're really quite thin already. So by the time I've added a little bit of pouring medium then you don't need um, much of anything else. I've certainly not added any water to any of them. So they are just the paint plus um, the this one, which I've used as the pouring medium. And I think the consistency is good. Yeah, I think so. So I'm adding just a little bit of alcohol. I'm hoping that's going to help the paint to thin a little bit and also to um, help it to move so the layers will maybe move through each other. But who knows? So I'm thinking maybe it will create some cells without silicone if I use the, um, this funny new pouring medium and some alcohol. But if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Did I already put some in there? I think I did. Let's put a little bit more. It's a little bit thick, so I can use the alcohol to thin it a little bit too. The good thing about the alcohol is um, it evaporates off pretty quickly, so it should help the painting to dry a bit quicker. That looks good. And then lastly, this antique white, I'll add a little bit more alcohol. And we'll see how it works out. I think with the colours, I'm not too bothered anyway about whether we get any cells. I know lots of people really like cells in the paintings, but a lot of the time it's not a, a huge priority for me. So we will see how these go. Let me just clear this to one side and we'll start a cup. So I don't want my colours to mix up too much in the cup. So I'm just going to put in two layers. So I want half of each paint colour to start with. And I'm going to kind of alternate them with the light, then the dark, then the lighter one. And then some of this gold. 
and I'll just go around again and empty it all in there. Now, whether I'll have enough paint today, who knows? I seem to be uh, famous, or at least in my own household, for um, mixing up far too much paint and putting far too much paint on the canvas. And you know, even if I had a, an, uh, an idea or a design in mind, because I've got far too much paint, it's always completely unworkable. So uh, we'll see. I've tried to do a lot less today, and um, maybe it'll be enough, maybe it won't. But hey, you know me and my crazy experiments. I just, uh, I really don't mind if it doesn't work out. I've always just have a lot of fun when I try anyway. So if it doesn't work out, that's just fine with me anyway. You can all have a good laugh at the, at the uh, utter painting disaster that come, that come out of my channel a lot of the time. It would be no fun at all if everything I did just turned out perfectly every time, would it? Where would be the fun in that? What would be the point in watching if all I was going to do was do the same thing every time and create paintings that looked good? I'm sure that by now some of you watch because what you like to see is the crazy experiments and the fact that often I tell you at the start what I'm going to do and then what it ends up like is something completely different, completely random and uh, often completely bad. But that's the fun in it, isn't it? We all have a little bit of uh, fun and comedy in our lives and if watching my painting channel and laughing at what I paint makes you happy, well then it makes me happy too. Okay, so I've got all of my paints in there and yes, it doesn't look very much, but hey, whatever. We'll move it around, we'll make it work and if it doesn't work, I can always add a little bit of extra paint in around the outside later on. Okay, so the cup looks really good. I've got lots of interesting stuff going on in there. Let's see if we can translate that over to the canvas and I'm just gonna, ooh, oh, what a mess. <laughs> see, there we are. Debbie's utter painting disasters once more. I tipped half the paint out of the cup before I even managed to turn it back over. But what I've got looks interesting. It looks kind of um, coffee coloured, kind of elegant and sophisticated perhaps. But we'll see. So I haven't got a lot of paint, so I am just going to leave it for a couple of minutes for everything in there to drip down. I'll meet you back here for the, uh, the big reveal. Okay, are you ready? Shall we give it a go? I'm going to have to leave it on the bench. I was going to pick it up, <laughs> put it near the camera, but I'm so cl clumsy, that's just not going to work, is it? So let's just go for it. Okay. Now interesting, the stuff that leaked out the side of the cup here before I even did it has a lot more cells and things than this, uh, the actual cup. I'm going to try and get all of this out, so I'm actually going to use a stick and get all, everything out, fill up the corners. There we go. don't want to waste anything. It does look good. It looks like a very good cup of coffee. There we go, nothing goes to waste. A little bit more. Actually, if, you ever, if you've ever been to the Caribbean, I'll tell you what it does look like. It looks like a mudslide. A mudslide is a type of um, ice cream cocktail that has a lot of alcohol in it. Um, and is made with like chocolate ice cream and lots of delicious kind of things. And it kind of reminds me of that. It's that kind of color scheme. Okay, so let's get this off to one side because I know I'm gonna make a mess. And let's start to tip this around a little bit and see what I can create from it. I think the paints are a little thinner today. Using those craft paints, um, they are a bit thinner. Oops than the other paints that I usually use that come in the in the larger bottles. But of course they give such um, a huge range of colours that it's nice to work with something a bit different sometimes. Okay, that looks good. Let's bring it down this side. I haven't got a lot of paint so I don't want to lose too much off the sides. Let's see. I still want to create something pretty if I can. Let's see, it's going good. I'm taking it nice and slow. Just encouraging it slightly over the edges so it makes a nice design there. Nice, that does look good. Okay, I think we're gonna have enough. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look cool and sophisticated. Let's zoom out a little bit because I'm pouring all over the place and you won't be able to see very well. 
Yeah, this looks good. So this is an interesting combination. Obviously, it's um, something I've not used before, I'm using this Sargent R as a, a medium. So that's interesting, different, and unusual. And um, I've created cells in this one without any kind of silicon or other similar additive. I've not torched it or anything like that. So if you're looking to avoid the use of um, silicon and oils in your painting, then maybe this will be um, something you could use. But it's early days yet, so let me continue on. And of course we need to wait and see also how it dries. Oh, it does look good. I really like these colours. It looks the kind of thing that you might see hung up in a nice coffee shop somewhere. Okay, just that last little corner. Encourage a little bit more down on that side. There we go. And I think it's done. How are all my edges? I need to touch up a little bit on the underside there. Make sure I've got enough everywhere. Oh, it does look good. You know, this looked good enough to eat, I think, today. Yes, if this was some kind of chocolate mousse or a mudslide or something like that, I could definitely dive head first into this. Okay, let's get that down on the bench and wipe my hands. Okay, so that was quite interesting. It's got a lot of interesting stuff going on there. It's got a lot of cells. In fact, it has a lot more cells in, than in some of the paintings where I've tried to create cells and haven't been able to. So that is interesting. So just a quick review. I used this Sargent R acrylic gloss as my pouring medium. I used the Apple Barrel craft paints and some alcohol in place of silicon. Pop those out of the way. And this is what I got. Let's bring the camera down. You can take a closer look. There we go. I am really liking this. It's very sophisticated, I think. It's got some nice golds here. You can see, goodness, things are grubby again. Got um, lovely gold accents in the paint just here that look really nice. And here where we have the, the darker kind of chocolate with the gold, that's good. So I'm really delighted with this. It's actually turned out much better than I thought. Now, see if I can zoom in on that one. Just look at that. That little cell there is just like, um, like a planet, like a solar system. Really fabulous. Yeah, this is looking great. I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going to stay like this. Really, really hoping. And hoping that it's not going to kind of flow too much afterwards. Let's look, a, look along the side. This always makes me happy, you know, when the design of the painting just continues on over the side like that. That always makes me really happy too. So, thank you for following along with me. Of course, I will come back. I'm going to dry this painting, varnish it, and show you straight after exactly what it looks like when it's finished. Fingers crossed, it's going to stay just like this. So here's this painting all finished, dried, varnished, looking glossy, very shiny. The gold elements in this painting, let me see, I turn my light on. I'm not sure if you can see the, the shimmering of the gold veins in this painting, but it really is very, very beautiful. One of the nicest paintings I think I've made. I'm absolutely delighted with it. So by the time um, you'll see this one, this painting's now um, dried, varnished. It's been a little while, but I'd, I encourage you to watch my videos over the next few days because I have a whole seven day series coming up about trying to work out a, a new recipe, how to create cells with alcohol without using any, any kind of torching. And I think you'd be really interested at the results. It's been a very fascinating few days for me. So um, follow along, subscribe if you haven't done already and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of all the new videos in this series. Thanks for watching.